Hello. In this video, we will examine how to use the load set combination data surface to easily create many load sets or load set combinations. To do this, we will first create five independent load cases and then combine them using the data surface and various scale factors. Let us begin by right clicking on loads in the model info pane and selecting new. The first load we will create is going to be an X inertia load. If I drop down X inertia load and right click body loads and select edit, I can then define an X translational gravity or inertia body load. This will be 8 G's and we need to multiply by the factor of gravity in this case, which our model being in inches and seconds is 386.09 inches per second squared. I can repeat those steps to define a Y inertia load. The Y inertia load we will define as 10 G's times 386.09. And again, for a Z inertia load, this time 12 G's. We are now going to create two more load cases. Both of these are going to be pressure loads. First pressure load will be a 10 PSI load. I can right click on load definitions and select on surface. Notice node and elements are grayed out because we do not yet have a mesh. I'm going to select all the blue surfaces and highlight to confirm. OK. The load type, we can change to pressure. I'm going to say 10 psi. OK. And notice you can see our 10 psi load vectors. I can repeat those steps this time for a 12, I'm going to call this minus 12. PSI. Again, load definitions on surface. This time I can just select the previous button, say OK, and the pressure, the magnitude of pressure is minus 12. OK. Now we have five independent load cases, and what we would like to do is combine all the plus and minus combinations of our X, Y, and Z inertia loads with both the positive pressure load and the negative 12 psi pressure load. To do this we can open the data surface editor which you can find by clicking on this icon on the panes toolbar. Alternatively you can drop down tools and select data surface editor. An empty dialog opens up in the top left drop down and here you can see all the different data surface types that can be defined we will select the load set combination data surface. We can title it load combinations. And then the initial number of rows is going to be how many load combinations we want to create. So here we have to do a little math. We have a plus and a minus X load, a plus and a minus Y load, and a plus and a minus Z load. So that's two times two times two. That gives us eight total combinations which we would like to pair with both the positive and the negative pressure load. So we need a total of 16 load combinations that we would like to create. Now we can say OK. And then which load sets do we want to use for all of our combinations? And here we can select all and say OK. Now I can give them a set ID. I'm going to start the numbering at 101 and number them all the way down. through 116. You can also type in titles. I won't do that here. It'll give them default titles, which you'll see. But if you need to be more specific, you can type in titles here. And then in the white cells, we need to define the scale factors for each combination. So for combination 101, we will do a positive X load, a positive Y load, a positive Z load, a 10 PSI, 
and then we will not include the minus 12 psi. Okay, and here we want to do all the positive and negative combinations. So what I'm going to do is fill out the x column first. So we'll do the first four being positive, and the next four being negative, and then we'll repeat that for the next eight. We'll do the same for the y column, except we're going to alternate every two. So we'll go positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, and repeat that all the way down. And then the z column needs to alternate every other. And then the first eight load sets will make use of the 10 psi pressure load. Five, six, seven, eight. And then the second eight, 109 through 116, will be assigned the minus 12 psi. So we'll say minus, oops, not minus. We'll just say one, one, one. And now that you've filled all of this out, we're ready to create the load set combinations. And it's also useful to know that you can fill or you can fill out this table or create this table in Excel and simply copy and paste the data in. To create the load set combinations, once all the data is filled out, you simply right click anywhere um, on the chart and say create combined sets. And then you can close the data surface editor and you can see it created in load cases 101 through 116. And if we drop down 101, for instance, and look at body loads, we can see our X, Y, and Z uh, load factors there. And if we drop down the load definitions, here we can see the pressure on surface, which we can choose to edit. And here you can see it's the 10 PSI load. So that data surface is a very useful way to create various combinations of individual or independent load cases that you may have. Um, this is very common in aerospace applications for launch vehicles, um, space vehicles, or even aviation where you may have X, Y, and Z inertia loads that you need to be able to combine um, in different plus and minus directions, possibly even different clocked angles, that sort of thing. So a very useful um, use case of the data surface editor and load set combination data surfaces to learn more about data surfaces you can go to help topics and simply search data surface and the FEMAP help section 7.2 has a lengthy description of all the various data surfaces that can be defined um, with numerous examples. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video.